We left Todos Santos and headed south to Cabo. We're currently in Los Cabos and unfortunately our time here has had a bit of a rocky start. Earlier this week I started getting really bad pain in my hip and it was going all the way through to my leg and it was piercing pains and it got to the point where I was basically in a pile on the floor crying so Jake took me to the emergency clinic. Thankfully we have travel insurance so went to the doctors, he did a bunch of tests, packed me up with a goodie bag filled with painkillers and anti-inflammatories and told me to go rest. I've been pretty much on bed rest, Jake's been taking care of me which I'm really thankful about. So thankfully there are a bunch of beaches close by in Cabo where we've been able to park up and not move the van. We've been parked up on this beach for a couple days now. We have plans for leaving Cabo and going over to Europe for a couple weeks and that is in four days and we have a lot of things we have to do to get ready. So today we are going to go tackle some of those things. We spent the following week focusing on getting better and prepping to go to Europe. That was the emergency clinic I went to. Unfortunately, our situation didn't improve and I had to go back to the ER. So it's been about a week of me resting and taking the prescribed medication for my leg. A little update is, so there was a lot of inflammation in my hip and my leg area and we don't know what's causing it. I took all of the medication that the doctor prescribed and a lot of the muscle pain has gone away, but I still have some nerve pain. Uh, so we had a follow-up appointment today with the doctor and just the process of getting to go see the doctor was really painful. I, we had the 10 minute drive in the van and then I had to walk from the, the van in the parking lot to the clinic and that was enough where it was so painful. Something's not right. So at the follow-up appointment, the doctor gave me more painkiller medicine and, and we did another ultrasound of the area. But this time we looked at the back of my leg to check the sciatic nerve. And he pushed on the sciatic nerve with the probe and it just sent fire down my leg. So we think that's what the issue is, is that my sciatic nerve is inflamed, but we don't know what's caused it. And so that's the next step of this puzzle is figuring out what's causing inflammation of my sciatic nerve. So the doctor said that the next step is I need to get an MRI and I can either do it in Canada or I can do it down here. So for doing it in Canada, it's pretty complicated for us because we've got the camper van down here and we have Finley. So we can either drive home, which would cost thousands of dollars and probably end our trip, or we could fly home, which last minute plank ticket and then also putting Finley in the kennel and then parking the van and then I don't know how long we would be waiting for the MRI so we're gonna get the MRI done down here the doctor said it was about $800 he made the appointment for tomorrow so tomorrow I'm gonna go get an MRI and see what's going on with my leg hi bud hi Finley but he wants his food. Finley, look at me. Hi. Hi. We are off to get the MRI today. The plan is we are going to drive from our campsite here to the emergency clinic. And then the doctor and his assistant are going to drive uh, Jacob and I to the imaging center so I can go get my MRI. To keep morale high, we keep saying that we are leaving our resort to go on a Cabo excursion for the day. We're gonna go on an adventure. In this scenario, we're not going zip lining or bungee jumping or anything fun like that. We're gonna go get an MRI. So, gotta keep morale high somehow, right? Betty? Oh, he thinks it's a vet. 
not the vet, buddy. It's not the vet. Hi. in the medics vehicle and we're going to drive to the imaging center to get the MRI. So we just finished up with the doctor appointment. Uh, we did the MRI and I went back to his clinic and had a look at the results and the doctor decided that I need physio. So he called up a physiotherapist and about an hour later the physiotherapist was at his clinic and I had my first session and it was wonderful. They are miracle workers. Like I, whatever it was that they did, I was on my feet and I could do laps around the office. It was beautiful. So I have two more weeks of physiotherapy treatment and uh, two weeks of pain management and then hopefully that's enough to get me back on my feet. Hey guys, Haley and Jake from the Future here to add a little bit of clarification to things that we just kind of missed while we were going through this whole ordeal. I had piriformis syndrome. If you've never heard of the piriformis muscle, don't worry, I hadn't either. It's this tiny little stabilizing muscle that's in the hip glute area and it sits right over the sciatic nerve and when it gets irritated it will push on the sciatic nerve mimicking symptoms of sciatica. It can get irritated by walking on unstable surfaces and if you watched our previous episode we went on a very long walk on soft sand so we think that's what caused it. So she's having an issue with her sciatic nerve. Um, the MRI was to see if it was um, like a bulge disc or anything and it doesn't really look like it is. Um, so based on that they, they've ruled out the need for any surgery that, that to fix it. And they, um, he, the doctor prescribed her physiotherapy and actually had a physiotherapist come to the clinic yesterday and essentially do our immediate treatment. And it has been helping quite a lot. So based on that, the doctor thinks he knows what it is and thinks physio will help. So um, she has a couple more physio appointments this week, uh, but it's it's looking looking promising to not be a serious issue. Okay, thank you. You too. Bye. So they're gonna stop following up regularly. They asked if I wanted to. I don't think we need regular follow-ups. Um, I can email them if anything happens. We can keep doing our case online. But essentially, um, they're moving the case from immediately like following up to, of somebody in distress to, I'll call them if we need them. Okay. So. That's really cool that they do that. Yeah, that was that was pretty good. That was pretty good actually. Mm -hmm. Like they they've been calling every couple of days to see how you're doing. They've been emailing me like every day. Mm -hmm. So good. So for the next two weeks, our days looked like this. I focused on doing my physio and resting, while Jake took on the workload of two people, including cooking, cleaning, taking care of both Finley and myself, driving me to physio, dealing with our insurance. The list goes on. Every day I'm getting a little bit more mobile with my leg. So today I'm going to hobble over to one of the palapas with Jake where he's going to go do his morning stretches and I'm probably going to sit and rest before I make the journey back to the van. Every day we get a little bit more stronger and more mobile. The wild Haley emerges from her natural habitat. After a long winter's hibernation, she is going to take her first steps. The snow is gone. Onwards to the beach. I am moving so fast. Look at me go. Successfully made it to the palapa. So now I'm going to hang out here and rest. And Jake's going to do some stretching. And we're going to play with Finley. Yeah. It's not funny. Yeah, it is. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Never mind then. 
We're very thankful that there are spots like this in Cabo. We didn't know that before we came down here, but it's been great. We've been parked at this beach for almost two weeks now, and that's the longest that we've ever spent in one spot. But it's great, like we're parked right there. There's the Palapa here, and then the ocean here. So really can't complain about this situation. It's a bad situation, but we're very thankful that it happened here. We've had a medical issue and um, we had to cancel our flights to Europe. So another unfortunate thing with this leg situation is Jake and I actually had plans for heading over to Europe to do some backpacking for a couple weeks and to see my family. And unfortunately we had to cancel the trip because I just, I can't walk, I can't get through the airport, I can't sit on the plane. And it's really unfortunate timing. But since we have travel insurance, it covers trip interruption. So we're going through the whole process of claiming the trip with our insurance, which involves a lot of phone calls, a lot of paperwork, but we're, we're making our way through the process. This is the first time for us. So it's very unfortunate timing. Yeah, yeah, everything's good. We've got medical care. Uh, everything's going okay. I'm just trying to find, figure out the best way to fill out the forms to make it as uh, smooth as possible. Okay, okay, thank you very much. Okay, bye. To add some more clarification about insurance, we have travel insurance through World Nomads. We chose World Nomads because you can select uh, one year insurance and you don't have to say what dates are gonna be in which country, so it's much more flexible and quite handy for us. The medical team in World Nomads was really good. When we called them, they got us a doctor's appointment the next morning and they followed up regularly to make sure we were getting the treatment we need, which was awesome. The uh, claims department was not bad. It took a couple months, but we did get our full uh, claim reimbursed, including our trip interruption insurance to, for our trip to Europe. So overall, good experience and we are happy we bought travel insurance. Every day I am slowly becoming more and more mobile. I finished up my last physio session, so now I just have to continue doing my physio and hopefully I will be back to normal in no time. So that's what we're going to go do this morning. I'm gonna go head out to a Palapa and do my morning physio. Times like these are great reminders of how fragile our current situation is. Anything can change in a moment for better or worse. We're truly thankful we have our health and appreciate that we are able to continue with our trip. So today is the day where we are finally going to say goodbye to this beach and mosey on. My hip is strong enough where it should be able to take on a car ride. It still isn't quite there for taking on Cabo. So we are gonna to head to the East Cape, explore the beaches over there, and then when my hip is back to normal, we'll come back to Cabo and explore the Cabo area. You ready to go, bud? Say goodbye to the beach. Thanks for watching. Join us next time as we get back on our feet and explore Cabo San Lucas.